Hi, it's Bridget. Other people's opinions. Let's talk about this topic. <laughs> Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. I'm on a walk. You might hear the wind blow a little bit. You might hear a car if it passes me by. And such is life. <laughs> ah, so this Sunday Morning Coffee up. Coffee episode is about other people's opinions. This is something that I have really struggled with. Now, I realized this when I was in my own coaching sessions. You guys know I talk to you on my Fairy Grasshopper channel and my vlogs about how I have a coach, a life coach that I work with, and I've been working on. I've been working with the same person for a year now and consistently every month, multiple times. And I've been working on one of one of the issues that I've been working on is about having my own opinion and letting go of needing to be super neutral about things. And so much so that I sacrifice my own feelings so that I don't hurt other people. So can you guys relate to that? Can you can you relate to that? How other people's opinions can be really painful to you, like hurtful? Like it's surprising and shocking, especially right now, when you consider the the political climate <laughs> in the United States anyway. Other people's opinions, points of view can feel kind of shocking and surprising. And yet as a person who's empathic, which I'm sure you are if you're listening to this, you feel other people and you're very caring and cautious about not wanting to inflict any kind of pain on somebody else. Like you don't want to hurt anybody. And sometimes when you express your opinion about something and it's different than what that other person believes, they can feel hurt, not just offended. That's not the only response. People can feel hurt, and the people that feel hurt are oftentimes empaths, people who are clairsentient, people who feel in the heart space and who are genuine and caring, and it may shock them or surprise them by your expressing your opinion. They may feel it. We may feel it like it's a personal attack or like it's completely different than how I would have expected you to be or who you would believe me to be. And that one exchange, sharing your opinion, can really take us off because we have these expectations, these unwritten, unspoken expectations of each other when we're in relationship. So other people's opinions, there are so many different places we can go with this topic, but I thought it was so important to share this with you, especially from a personal perspective. As I said, I have been working on trying not to care so much about what other people think, whether it's about politics or the stock market or what other people think about <laughs> just what other people think in general. Like, that's their choice, not my choice. And yet it doesn't have any reflection on me. It's their thought, their individual thinking, not mine. The fact that it's so different in contrast than mine doesn't make it good, bad, better, lesser, nothing like that. And yet I have walked this very fine line of not wanting to offend people and not wanting to hurt people throughout my entire life. My entire life. So you know what happens? I am a real person, a human that I has. I do have opinions. I have views. Even though I show up on Above Life channel and I channel Afterlife guests and I share as best I can what their message is, the person that I'm receiving, that channeled information. I try to really focus on the content and the quality of the connection. I am a human and I have bias. I do. We all have bias. We all have opinions. And I am not, I am not able to keep up a 
consistent stance of always being neutral. I'm just not. I can't always be neutral. I can't always try to help everybody feel good about the messages that come in, about the information that I share, about what's going on in the world. And I want you to understand something very truly from my heart to your heart. Your opinion matters because your opinion is connected to your feeling, the way you feel about things. And that is about your heart. And that is also a collaboration with your experiences. So your opinion is connected to your heart and your feelings and in collaboration with your experiences. And that is your mind, your mind and your heart. So your thoughts, your thinking, that creates your beliefs and your values, what matters to you. And your heart, your heart gives you the information, gives you the information, the affirmation about what you believe for you, for your life. The challenge that we have is that everybody else comes from that same view. But what we don't understand is that my view is not your view and your view is not my view. Even if we have some similarities, some common agreements, that the agreements don't make us better together and the disagreements don't make us worse together. We all have a balance of agreements and disagreements in all the relationships that we have and in our minds and in our hearts, between our own individual minds, our thoughts and our hearts, our feelings, we have disagreements. Sometimes we feel one way and we think another. And yet, all of this matters. Your opinion matters, but it matters to you and it can't matter to me. Do you understand where I'm coming from here? My opinion matters to me. And it doesn't need to matter to you in order for me to know my value. So when you have an opinion, I am not the one. Anybody outside, external, your friend that agrees or the person that disagrees with you doesn't validate your opinion or your view, doesn't make it right or wrong or good or bad. It doesn't, nobody externally outside of us can, it's only us inside. What matters to you matters to you. Other people don't get to have a say in that. Well, they contribute, they influence that, but they don't get to have a say in it. Yet we are, I have been, I'm gonna use a term that one of my clients used the other day in session, which I thought was brilliant. It's a perfect way to describe this, groomed. We've been groomed by society through relationships that we have with other people, through our schools, through our workplaces, through universities, through everything. Everything we're involved in, we've been groomed to care so much about what other people are thinking and feeling about their opinions and using that to validate our own. We don't need someone else to validate us, but we have been groomed that we need that information, that input. And it does feel good when someone agrees with you or they give you a positive feedback or whatever that might be look like. And it feels bad when they don't or when they're mean or when they say something that doesn't, you don't agree with at all. We have to stop taking things personally. And by we, I mean me. <laughs> And maybe you, if that's the place you're in right now. Other people's opinions do matter to us, but they don't have to matter. The fact is, I want to change. I don't want to care what other people think so much that I sacrifice my own values and beliefs. And it's hard to do that, especially on social media, especially if you're a public figure, especially if you're on YouTube. <laughs> it's challenging. You are not responsible for how other people feel about your opinion. You are not responsible for how other people feel about your feelings and about your thoughts. But you are. You are responsible for your own thinking and for your own feeling. Other people 
their opinions of you are not true. They're not. Oh, that sounds a little weird, doesn't it? They're not true because they're looking at you from a bias. They have some kind of bias, whether it's a good one, they think you can do no harm, no wrong, or whether it's a bad one, they think you're a hoax, or they think you're fake. They think you're wrong. So what? Let them think how they want to think. Let them feel how they want to feel. It's okay. And for you, for people like me, I'm working on that. This kind of gets into caring more about other people's opinions kind of gets into this people-pleasing concepts. We can talk about that in another video, another audio. I'm sure many of you can relate to that. So I am working on letting myself have my own opinions and being okay with that, being okay in the discomfort when other people don't agree with me. I'm okay with that. I've been okay with that up to this point. It's the way that they don't agree but the way that they feel the need to correct me is what challenges me. That probably challenges you as well, doesn't it? That conflict piece, that's, that's tough. But we can set healthy boundaries and just, if it's social media, you know, mute that person for a while. If it's, if it's in person, if it's a family member or something, don't go to an event when that family member's there until you feel comfortable or set boundaries. Actually say, like physically say to them, out loud, verbally say, tell them, no, this is not okay. You can have your opinion. I have my opinion. I don't need your opinion. I don't need it. I don't want it. I didn't ask for it. I don't remember asking you for that. Okay, so keep it to yourself. But if you expect that of other people, just know that someone might request that of you as well. And be aware. It's not a telling you you're wrong or you're right. The world can't do that. It shouldn't be doing that. The world should not be defining us like that. Our world inside of us should be defining us as such a powerful being of light, an incredible connection to God, creator, source, universe, to the world, through us, our space, how we feel, what we know to be true for us, other people's opinions cannot be true about you because they don't know you. They are not you. They can't be true. They might be partially true or half true or completely false. It doesn't matter, though. That's the thing. It doesn't matter. Your opinion should matter to you. Other people's acceptance or rejection of them should not. That's where our power is. I'm working on letting this go. I'm working on detaching from it myself. And being on YouTube gives me a great place to practice. So other people's opinions, EPU, I'd like to end with this. One of the people that I've channeled at Above Life Channel is Dr. Wayne Dyer in the afterlife. And he, I've heard him say on multiple occasions in several of his talks and things that other people's opinions of me are none of my business. Other people's opinions of me are not my business. It's not my business. What other people think of me, that's none of my business. What other people think of you, that's none of your business. Let it go as best we can. I'm on the path to do that. I'm on the path to do that. And sharing part of my opinions, my views, in a way that honors what matters to me. And I encourage you, I encourage you to consider this, to ponder this, to journal about this for yourself. I'm Bridget. I'm a psychic and life coach, and it's a pleasure to connect with you here on my Sunday morning coffee series, which you can find at Above Life Channel on Sundays. You can also find me at Fairy Grasshopper. Fairy Grasshopper on YouTube is a channel where I do vlogging and I talk about other intuitive topics and the like. You can find me on social media, Bridget Inspired. That's Bridget Inspired on Facebook, Bridget Inspired on Instagram as well. Thanks for listening.